What is up guys, welcome back. Uh, I took a couple weeks off, was getting kind of burnt out on the car. Actually the real reason why I took a couple weeks off is because I was waiting for my beard to grow back. So the beard's back, it's me again guys. No mustache, we're done with that face. Short lived. Anyways, back to working on the car. We're gonna finish the turbo setup today. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm definitely starting it and we're gonna do at least one pull uh, or a couple pulls probably on eight PSI. I gotta lower the boost since this one's a little bit bigger than the other one. I don't wanna lean out because I know these 440s are definitely maxed out already from the old turbo. Um, but I got bigger ones, 550 GTR injectors, radium rail, DW400, all that stuff. Got a new Aristo pump housing, so we're gonna put that in in the future. But today we're just gonna focus on the turbo setup on this and getting it running and see how responsive it is. I kind of want to do a review on the Pulsar. There's probably you know, quite a few out there, but I haven't really found one specific for drifting. So let's get into it. Everybody, before we get too far, I would like to thank all of you for reaching 1,000 subscribers. We did it. So I'm going to give away a t-shirt plus a sticker. So I have this in black and I have it in white. I'll drop a photo of that now. And then, so I'm going to make a post on my Instagram. This is my Instagram name. There's a link on my uh, channel as well. I'll drop it down here. And go like that post, comment on it if you've been subbed, or if you're a new subscriber. That's all you got to do. Comment on it. I'm going to use the app to pick a random winner in the comment section. And I will send you, all I have is small to extra large in each color. I will send you a shirt and a sticker. This sticker right here. K Buns or KBNZ.us, K Buns, my nickname. Team No Blow Files. That's my motto. Fuck Blow Files. So there's the new compressor housing. I got the pipe welded on there. I got two inch elbow to a two and a half transition. I gotta clock the center section of the turbo a little bit still. Um, the drain's not lining up perfect, so I gotta move that a little bit. I really wanna clean up this bay too in the future. I think I'm gonna get rid of the teal cover. What do you guys think? Uh, I was thinking, I don't I don't wanna do red, and that's pretty common. But I was thinking, kinda of go with the flow on my new shirts. Maybe do that teal, pink, purple fade. I think that would be kinda of sick, but oh, we'll see. All right, I pulled the turbo off because it was just mocked up. I had to uh, clock the center section, but uh, I just wanted to show these nuts and bolts. They're locking. It's highly recommended for turbo cars. I had these before, but I just ordered new ones. I got them off uh, Amazon. Um, maybe I'll drop the link in the description. But I never had a problem with them loosening up, so that was good. A lot of people have issues with that, so. But uh, I'm going to clean that up and hopefully this is the final time we install it. Uh, put the new gasket on and whatnot. So I'll touch back when it's on the car. Also, I'm going to put Loctite on them too. I don't know if you guys can see the teeth on those. There's a locking washer and a regular washer. But both ends have the teeth on it, which help it grip better. So. Alright, so now I am going to work on the coolant lines. I did get the turbo mounted fully and the drain line hooked up right now. Bolts are all tight, everything's good so far. I'm just working on the cooling lines. We'll do the top one first. And there we go. I'll show you how to do it. And line. All right, so you want to lube the hose first, both ends. I got a little bit of oil here. Just helps. Don't pour too much in there because this is coolant, so you don't want oil in your coolant. Put it in this. This is one thing that I always had a hard time doing AN lines. I don't know why I didn't think of this, but when you put it in here, you go left to get it inside more. I was always trying to do it right because you know. All right, and then once you can see the hose all the way to the top, you're good. And you basically are just going to screw it in to compress it. 
I'll have to get my AN wrench here in a minute. I guess it's smarter to do it like that. This is my first time doing it with the AN vice jaws and I've had the wrench, but I'm just going to tighten it till it bottoms out. There you go. A couple little marks, but oh well. All right, other side, same thing. All right, let's see if I can do it a little bit better this time. So these are these jaws are just magnetic, so they just stick to the existing vise. Oh yeah, that's much better. Second time with all the correct tools on the Pro already. Jeez. All tight, go test it on the car. All right, first one is on. A little more tighter than I wanted it to be, but it's the only way I could get it to work. I think it's good, I don't think it's kinked. So, feels all right. So, on to the next one. All right, got the second one made, same process, pretty easy. Um, I got the hose clamp and on this end, just to make it look better since it's going on a barb fitting on the bottom of the block. So I'm gonna install that now. All right, so I got everything on. Coolant lines are run. Pressure housing is on. Downpipe is on. Uh, only thing I don't have on right now is the oil feed, which is because we are going to crank the motor over to make sure we got oil coming out of it, and then we're gonna hook it up. So that way the turbo doesn't start with no oil. So I'm gonna do that next, and then we're gonna start it. Open downpipe first. All right, here we go. First start on it. The, uh, I primed it with the oil. All right, there it is. It's on, it's running. Obviously, I didn't expect it not to run, but I'm going to hook up the exhaust because it's way too loud. You can't hear the turbo. we got to hear that. Alright, I think sounds sick. Uh, I'm going to clean up my area so I can pull this thing out. I'm going to take it for a rip. Alright, I brought my helmet this time so I could get better in-car footage for you guys. But we're gonna make sure the boost isn't too high and then check it out. All right, looks like our boost pressure is good, so let's see. Definitely just as responsive. Maybe a little bit laggier, but I didn't really have any traction there, so that might, could have been the reason why. Do one more. I think that'll take care of that. All right, there it is, fully installed. Just got back from the test drive. In here, pretty happy with the results. Shop's kind of smoky. Got a little oil leak. I don't think the uh, the way my oil feed fits onto the restrictor for the new turbo. I don't think it uh, like seats fully. So I think when I got on it, the pressure increased and kind of shot some oil out. That's why the shop's smoky. Don't worry, didn't burn my car down, thankfully. So, but I would say that the turbo is about 200 RPM later, but I don't want to fully, I want to wait till we get to the dyno because I didn't really have traction and the tires were bald. Um, so I don't want to fully do that until we can compare it on the dyno. So I'm gonna, once we go back to the dyno, I'm gonna compare it at eight PSI 
um, like we did the first run, and then we're going to turn it up to 16, and then we might even go higher after that. We'll see. We'll see if we can get any higher. I know, I think 17, somebody said if you unplug the map sensor, you can get it to 20. So we'll see. We'll see if we got the fuel, see how high we can go from there. Thanks again, guys, for 1,000 subscribers. Don't forget, giving away the shirt, kbnz.us, team no blow off valve. Appreciate it. They're going to be for sale if you don't get a free one. So don't worry. You're not going to miss out. Thank you all again. 1,000 subs. Took a while. But there was a long time where I stopped recording. So I'm going to say, you know, you know what? Who cares? As long as I beat Mike Massey. So thanks. Tune in. Fuck you, Mike.